Hello, welcome back to another one. This is bag number nine. Down to the last few bags of this lot, so I'm hoping to find a couple of matching earrings. Hopefully. Let me see. Uh, may as well get straight into some of these tags. Because they can become quite a nuisance. Any more? What does that say? Stones missing. Well found still. Wonder what makes that so special then to be twelve pounds. Oh, I'm sure we'll find it again if I don't cut the tag off. Another new tag. Oh that looks like the Italian stuff. It's got something inscribed in there. No. I don't think there's any more tags. There's one. There's one. We'll go from there. Right, we have a silk wrap bangle. That's going a lot. Faux pearl bangle. That'll go in a lot. Looks like a little perfume bottle or something. Hmm, I wonder what that's made of. The chain's not anything. Might test that bottom bit. Looks a bit off colour, but sometimes when they are um, low grade silver, that's another one of those plastic vintage ones. <coughs> oh, look at that. Micro light water resistant. It's got a light on it as well. The light doesn't work. Don't need a battery. That's really um, interesting. I think my Lipman would like that. Keep that aside for him. It's too tangled. I've got a bangle. I've got a broken something. I don't know what that was on. Do you know I'll keep that aside? It might find something that that was supposed to be on. Uh, there's an earring on there. Little screw back faux pearl. Um, some long plastic beads. A drop lot. Closing a hat pin. Mm. Uh, is that gemstone or shell? Looks more like shell. That'll go in beachy lot. Little stud. I think that would have been a little charm of some sort. That'll go in broken. This one, if I can get it untangled, is going to go straight into craft because it's just got so much hair or something stuck in it. I don't want to get that out. Um, Fox Cape Manor. Interesting little pin. I'll go in a pin slot. What do you say? Carrie Elster. I've heard of that one before. I can't remember. Glass beads. That'll go in the job lot. That's a bit of a watch. Go in the watch lot. 
little horsey. Looks like it might have had gold plating on it before. Wait, anything? I will test that. That's an earring. Let's keep going from the side. Uh, some beads. The ribbon looks all right on that. Bit of broken. Another bit of broken. Another bit of broken. Oh, they're nice. It's like that crackled glass knotted beads. I do like them. Very clean as well. I wonder if that's crackled glass or quartz. Probably crackled glass. What do you reckon? Um, yeah, I'll keep them. I like them. You're still stuck in there. Stretch. Wooden bangle. That's broken. Pendant. Don't know what that's made of. Whether that's painted or printed on there. It's quite unusual. I'll go in a pendant lock. One of these magnetic ones. Uh, earring. Just a cufflink. Vintage clip on. Another earring. That's nice and cut out there. This material thing looks like it goes on forever. Yep. What on earth is that? No idea. But it's broken. Got beads on. That can go in broken. So pearl lock. Earring. Uh, just one of those bib ones. Accessorise. Got all its bits. That can go in the bib lock. Stretch. Uh, that's broken that can go in a broken lot broken vintage stretch oh, this is the one with the tag on it maybe French what's that engraving say Can't work it out. It's like it's got bits of the engraving missing, and it's very, very, very faint. I don't know if you can tell that out there. Hmm. Oh, what do you say on the back there? It's got more engraving in the back. I have that the wrong way. This is awkward. I can't make out what it says on the back, but I will keep that aside so I can have a look at that better. <coughs> Vintage bangle. And a collar one. I think that's missing something. Because it's got a clip there. Maybe missing something there. So that going broken. Multi strand chain with cords going through. I think that has definitely seen better days. The cord. So that can go unbroken. Stretch. That's broken. Multi-strand. 
and that guy in a broken lot. I think you are. Some shell and black beads, multi strand. What is that? Oh, that's a bracelet. Broken one, but it's a bracelet. That's a dainty little leaf, cut out leaf necklace. Um. It's got stones missing anyway. No name and no clasp. Actually, I think I chucked away the clasp earlier. That would be an easy fix, wouldn't it? Nope, it's got stones missing anyway. That'll go and break them. Never mind. Some keys. They possibly look silver or like a nice silver plating. I think I'll test them. You've come free. Little um, bib type one. Going to a lot. Some vintage plastic beads. I'm going to plastic bead slot. old glass beads where they're like moulded and not trimmed off very well look at that I do like them with the amber colour though um, not going a vintage lot look at this huge elephant he's cute textured I like him we're going brooches lot. That going broken. That's a clip on. Like a meshy one from next. Earring. Ring. Did I see? What are you saying? Very faintly it says silver, it looks like it's been polished up. Hmm. Test that. Little um cut out hearts bracelet. A faux pearl, that's been cut there, that's been broken. Alright, we'll keep pairs and any odd ones we'll get rid of. We've got some lightning bolts, some flowers. Right, that's a solo one. So that can go in there. That's a solo one. That can go in there. That's a solo one. My fingers are filthy the backs on properly so they're not all gonna fall off that's a solo one and that's a solo one uh, the rest are all pairs so they can go in paired earrings they don't even look like they belong on there. They're not anything, but the might be silver plated. The front looks like it should be silver. That's impaired earrings. This one is Dorothy Perkins long red plastic beads. Okay, the top lock. For like coconut shell ones. Uh, do they have an opening? No. Um, they're nice, they can go in the top Some tangles coming up soon. This 
is just a long multi strand dangly eloxor. I don't know about the end of it. Eloxor metal. Um, so it's really lightweight. I can go in a vintage. Got an earring there. I don't think you're anything there. Uh, some glass. Yeah, probably pendant. HB feels plastic. It's a little um, tankard type thing that can go in. Broken. Got an earring here. I don't think you are anything. Uh, bows with faux pearls. That will go in the drop lock. Earring. Shells. Drop block. I think that was a brace and anklet or something. I can go in broken. Green, super long, with ribbon, amber colours, virgin vi. Uh, that's okay, I can go and drop that. Someone's having a party outside in their car. Uh, that's in good condition. Again, they're in good condition. Not knotted. I'm going a vintage lot. I could just do a vintage lot of them. Um, Faux pearls, couldn't I? Oh, come on. Um, blue, dark blue, plastic and ribbon. Oh, I'm dying to know what's £12 with missing stones. Let's have a look. Right, we've got an earring here. Can we get you out? You're stuck on. Right, we've got a little glass chandelier style earring. You can't be part of it, surely. I think you're caught in now, haven't you? But it's broken anyway, so let's get you off there. Broken. Broken. Right, this says stones missing. Deco, twelve pounds. I don't think this actually looks that old, to be honest. Put that in a broken vintage. It's a broken piece of chain. It's cute. Um, little vintage one. That's nice enough, but I've got vintage. These ones don't want to open like the normal way. Um, 
uh, Avon. That's a nice little one that will go in the job lot. Very outstretched. Earring. Broken. Broken. Glass. They knotted every three stones. No clasp. You can go in a vintage lot. Uh, Wallace. It needs detangling, but little dangle, multi strand. The amber tone plastic. Earring. What do you say? Hong Kong. It's another set. Multi strand vintage. Possibly need a repair there and a good clean. Stretch clip on looped earring. What else have we got? Got a pair of sparklies there. Uh, they can stay together like that. That's a screw back. That's nice. Um, it's worn on the inside, but it's alright on the outside. That'll go in the job lot. Looks like possible inlaid coral, maybe. What do you think? It's quite nice though. Needs good clean. Might clean that one up. It's a kid's stretch. Um, earring. Pendant necklace. That is for a shelf, like on an Ikea thing. Uh, so in the bin. Vintage plastic beads. Uh, long green tassely plasticky. It's quite nice. It's a nice glass bead there, handmade probably. Going to job lot. All right, we've got a little like um, geode type heart. Silver tone stud. It's a nice little flower bracelet. Um, that looks crocheted, doesn't it? Bracelet. Oh my, that's an earring. Look at the size of that bead. Another earring. Another odd cuff link. Another bracelet. Another earring. I might have that one. Some spare sequins for craft, broken, just not coming over. We didn't find anything for that, so that will go in craft. I'll just test these. I think we've got one silver ring here. I don't think that's anything. Don't know about that. Highly unlikely. That one's possible. It looks like it's been resized as well, possibly. And that looks like it's silver. Is the 
deceiving me. No, actually, I think the horse in the ring. Yeah, the horse in the ring. So that will go in craft. That is interesting anywhere on its own, but it's got the top missing. So I'll put that in a, I don't know, lot for now. Um, it's a jockey, isn't it? Horse racer. Yeah, that's really nice. It's a shame it's not articulated because I'm collecting the articulated ones for my charm bracelet. Uh, and that's a nice chunky little silver ring that is. Um, yeah, so I've got those. Look up what that in, is inscribed. That's possibly coral inlaid and this crackled glass or... I think it's crackled glass. I don't think it's quartz. I don't know, but it's in really good condition either way. So not bad, not too bad compared to some of them. I'm happy with that. I love the little um, horse racer. That is really nice. Yep, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.